Welcome back, gamers, to another episode of the E-Federation. This is Gadriel here, and I'm joined here by Mr. Thunder. Say hi. How are we doing, everyone? And we are showing, doing a faction review. We're faction reviewing the Adrissian Kingdom. We're going to show you what units are worth grabbing, what units aren't, what their weaknesses are, what their strengths are, um, what units to grab again, what units not to grab. There's some, like every faction has units that you just don't want to grab. They're not that worth it. They're not worth the money. They're not worth the time or the patience. So we're going to start in on Falksmen, which are your low tier Thracian warriors. They are meant to be cycled as we're going to charge into the Vigile. And. You're going to notice they're going to get a lot of kills on their charge. They are cycle units. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> that's the bibbity bobbity boo he disappeared. And that's how you make a Vigilate disappear. But you also want to cycle charge them. But now for future reference we know that we can kill a Vigilate with a Falksman. And we're going to go into the Sociate. We're going into the study. And again, make him disappear. That is an insane so, charge. The Odrissian Kingdom's perk is their armor piercing. They they will make Rome disappear. In prolonged combat, not so much. You want to cycle them out. Um, as you can see, this Falksman's actually now losing the fight after getting 67 kills off of it. You just come back in with another Falksman and you clean up. They clean up pretty quickly, guys. Um, and they're actually just... They're they're extremely dangerous to high-tier units as well. If you want to bring an Armored Legionnaire forward, we can show them a charge off of the Falksman. Sorry about that. Just had to uh, lower that down with the so, dog mark. How to counter Falksman is pretty simple. You use archers. You kill them with range. You don't want to get in melee with them. Because you will lose. And as you can see, the archers are shooting into him and he's dropping like he's no tomorrow. Um, Adrusian Kingdom, when it comes to range, doesn't really have decent range capabilities. They have a archer of the 125 range. They have a Thracian Peltist, a Skirmisher, and a slinger. Slingers are only 150 range. That's your best chance and your best choice for uh, range combat with the Dressing Kingdom. Now we're going to look at the second tier of their melee infantry, which are known as Thracian Warriors. Which these guys are no joke as well. They are just Fogsmen with armor. Pretty much. Alright, move up an armored Legionnaire. You want the armor or join the Astati? Oh, yeah, bring the Astati in. Just, over. just for apples with apples? Just for apples with apples, yep. Thracian Warriors are really good for their price. They're 420 denarii. Uh, their tag, their melee tag is 46, which means they're making 46 damage. They're not heavily armored, so again, javelins are going to kill them head on. They don't have shields. Well, they do, but it's. It's not really a shield. But they do have is a 36 charge bonus. They are the most dangerous units off of horseback when it comes to charging. And they're also counter cav, if no one, if anyone didn't know that. Yes, Thracian warriors are counter cav. Uh, all three all, all just in kingdom is anti cav. They're they're not a faction you sally out on unless you know what you're doing. But, as always, they are lightly armored. The easiest way to counter them is range. Uh, cycle. Cycle, cycle, cycle. You want to cycle all the time on a Drizzling Kingdom. You don't want them to keep focus on one unit. You want to break their charges. Alright, now we're going to go on to their high tier melee infantry, which is the... No, uh, the noble. I don't know why I was confused right there. The Thracian nobles. I'll bring these to the side. He'll bring forward two armored legionnaires, please. 
Now these guys are your where you're winning. They have a 76 melee attack, and that's base. That's that's before you put chevrons on them. Um, a triple chevron noble, gold chevron noble, so that's level nine. Uh, for those that didn't know, you can go through different t levels on your infantry and it's make them veteran. Now, they fight better, they get better stats when you do that. They can sit yep. at 90, I think it was like a 96 melee attack. Am I right? Yes, yeah, that rings a bell, yeah. So, again, they're, they're going to be impervious. They're going to be, not impervious, but they're going to not do so well against range. They're Thracians. Our general is under attack. Oh, uh, they only lost one on the charge. But on the charge, they are going to clean up. They're quarter already the more than a quarter of the unit on the charge. That's ridiculous. Yep. And they're armored, so they can stay a little bit longer in combat. So, Thracian Nobles are a go-to unit with a Dracian Kingdom. You want to bring them. But you also want to learn... You, you need to cycle. You can't just bring a Dracian Kingdom and throw them into combat and expect them to win. Because it's not going to happen. It doesn't work that way. You have to cycle them. You have to use countermeasures against range. You're not going to just fight a unit that's sitting still the whole time. Alright. We're going to volley from all three into the Thracian behind. What? Oh. Yeah, see? So they are susceptible to range. That range shot, one range shot killed 18 of them. So you want to be very careful how you position your infantry. Now we're going to look at the defensive capabilities of the Idrisian Kingdom because they do have spearmen. Um, we're going to look over here. And I'm going to show you, we're first going to show their initial, their, their Vigilace. Adrian Kingdom's Vigilace, which are just spears. Uh, they are completely, they're weak. Honestly, I don't know who would win, a Vigilace or a Spear. I think the Spears lose. Yeah, I'll be close. This is what they call the Battle of the Turds. Oh, oh my guys died. Yeah, so Vigilates, so Spears are great for initial deployments, such as if you're trying to move them up to take out artillery positions, that's your Spear unit that you want to bring. I do recommend bringing at least one or two of them, or three of them, when you're playing a Dressing Kingdom if you're on attack, so you can use the Spears to take out artillery and burn towers. Um, perfect price, or 200, it's, it, it's pretty simple. Now we're going to switch over to their mercenary capabilities, their hoplites. So we're going to bring a hoplites up. Remember, hoplites are designed to cycle charge. You don't just throw them in and have them hold for a long time. Yes, they can do that, but you're not going to get the kills. You're just going to have the time. They have a 21 charge bonus. Still pretty good. Let's pull you off. Yeah, spears are losing. So spears are not better than a vigilant. Mercenaries, the hoplites, again, are just regular hoplites. I personally don't bring them on defense or on attack. I understand maybe you might need them to seal a gap or to play defensive for at a point if you're on attack. But for how much they are, I think they're 600, and I don't think they're worth it. Hoplites have never been what I what I deem worth it at all. So we're going to switch. No, it's, it's, it's now, very expensive to as a holding unit. Now, these guys, these guys are a different... This is a different argument. These hoplites... I would bring. Um, they're the mercenary veteran hoplites. Very good unit. Uh, price wise, I would bring them. I think they are pretty sustainable. Spear infantry ready. 
Do you want me to bring in the uh, armored against them? Nope, let's do uh, Saudi first. As you command. Yes, commander. Orders understood. And then when you go in, some people say go to Hopalay Wall. I personally don't care for Hopalay Wall. I will cycle charge my Hopalites and they will get the kills. These guys are already up to 34 kills, and they just lost their first man. By your command. As you command. Again, cycle, cycle, cycle. You're always going to have to cycle. <clears throat> and you're going to get your kills. That's how you get your... That's how you get the most of your kills. It's by cycling with the Justine Kingdom. You can't just leave them at it. Now we're going to look at the Thracian Cavalry. Thracian Cavalry isn't the greatest. It's melee cav and you get one choice of javelins, which skirmisher cav, which I personally am not a fan of. I don't care for skirmisher cav or javelin cav at all in this game. If I'm going to bring something uh, for my range slot, I'm bringing archers. Uh, but they are pretty cool. You can run them around, put them on fire at will, and run past and just fully control as they throw. Like, we're going to use Associa Equites, Extraordinaria, as an example. Like, they can throw, they have Parthian shot. You can keep running, he'll chase. If he chases, your guys will throw as they're running away. And just don't get caught. If you get caught, you're gonna die. Okay, and the morale's not the best with them either, so they are yeah. susceptible to fleeing. I don't know what they're doing now. Alright, well, we know my calf play ain't the best. We That's only because you don't, get, you don't get to play it. <laughs> Thracian Horsemen. Uh, they're medium tier cavalry. I would pretty much put it up with uh, Citizen Cav. I would probably put it in the same bracket as Citizen Cav or the Medean Cav. Um, and that, they have a pretty decent charge bonus at 57 charge. No, correction, 31 charge. 57 on Associate Extraordinary. Um, on the charge, might not get a killer. So, oh, they're getting a few. Yeah, the, the then, best way to the best way to use them would be to harass uh, enemy missiles yeah. and things like that. So you, you don't really use them to try and rack up loads of kills. They're more of like a harrying force that can do a lot of distraction. Those boys are the guys that you're gonna get kills with. Yeah, the Thracian noble cavalry is your kills. Pull off, go in. So that's pretty much them for their calf. I I'm not a calf player, I like using my infantry. I personally wouldn't bother wasting money on Thracian cavalry. Now I've seen Thunder use it a lot. Um, so I'm gonna just leave it on I'll leave that on the floor with him. Yeah, it's um you gotta be careful how you use them. So basically you have to use them as they're tiered. So you've got your light cav there with the Thracian horsemen. Like we were saying earlier, they are a harrying force. You they're quite quick, so they will outpace the heavier um cavalry like the Thracian Royal Cav and the um Praetorian cavalry you see there. But even there you can see I cycled against that oh, um, Thracian Royal Cav, and it's or it's still beating the Praetorian Cav, and the Praetorian Cav is the the most elite Cav that Rome can bring, and they're getting pretty handily beaten there. So it shows you that they are a capable unit. Um, they're not as good as some other Cav, such as the um, the Kushite Cav General that you can bring, um, but they will go toe to toe against the majority of Cav, and while they might not win all the time they will give you time to manipulate the other cavalry. So that's what I would use them for. I would throw them into the heavy stuff, not expecting them to win, 
but using it as a time delay so I can then do the damage with the lighter cav, which isn't expected. Bring a cav to the center. I want to show him what would uh, what a Thracian noble can do to cav. Okay. I could do it with the elephant if you wanted me to. Not yet. <laughs> So this is Praetorian Cavalry, this is the highest tier that Rome can bring. And on the count of three, we're going to charge each other. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Kill, kill, kill. Now, um, I'm going to oh, disappear. <laughs> and look at that calf. Thracian nobles are anti-calf. All Thrace is if you see a name Thrace with Thrace in the name, that is anti calf. You stay away from that. That will kill you. You might doesn't matter, kill a lot doesn't of matter which calf faction you bring, any calf faction will lose yeah. head on against the Thracian nobles. Then you just finish it off. Let's see if they can win it. Yeah, did I get a couple? I think I got a couple. Killed 38. 39. Yeah. It's not worth the trade. Not worth the trade at all, no. The only time you might be able to do it, if you want to turn one of well, them around, I'll the, charge in the back with a shot cav. The nobles are so great because they're 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 cheap. They're, no, they're cheap compared for a high tier unit. Like, especially mm -hmm. for what you get from it. Um, it it's... It, like they'll kill, they'll kill Galatian real hard. They'll kill, they'll kill pretty much about anything you they th you throw it at. So do you want to put one of your units of Thracian nobles with their back turned to my front line, and I'll show you the cycle charge with the shot cav, and that's this is how you would beat a Thracian um, royal guard. Yeah, you have to hit them from behind. Oh yeah, and just to note, your um, Thracian Royal Cav that's still engaged with that um, Praetorian Guard, it's now tired, and the combat's even, but that's taken on that unit after cycling with one of the uh, Shot Cav. Yeah. Alright, so we got the backs to the Thracian Nobles, got the Shot Cav. Yep. You never ever show your back to cavalry guys. So don't do this in the game thinking that you're being slick. If you see cav coming in from behind, you want to turn your guys around. But we're giving you the idea of how a shot cav would do against charging into let's say a Thracian noble. And even at that it's not even doing that much to it. No, it's the knockdown factor and as soon as they turn around they'll do the damage, but this is how you would yeah. try to beat them. Alright, so if you see Strasian Nobles, the best advice I can tell you is to nuke them. Don't don't let uh, don't let Thrace bully you. They are a really good faction uh, if used correctly. They are one of the most deadliest factions in the game. Off top of my head, I would probably rate it as a B faction due to no range. Uh, if we were looking at um, tier of like S, A, B, C, D. I would, I, I would argue an A. I would argue an A. Simply because even though the the missile force isn't the strongest, they have the ability to counter enemy missile using the cav force. Well, the cav force isn't that strong either, but. I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying. I agree. Maybe an A, but I'd put it at a B, a high B, not a low or middle B, but like a high B. But I, I these they're they're so easily countered. If you're if yeah. you're playing with teammates that know what they're doing, you can easily counter a Dressing Kingdom, uh, archers, 
like everyone just focuses on addressing Kingdom Nuke can get it off the field. It's, that's that's literally your best way of killing them. You can make them all disappear. Even French shots on nobles will make them disappear. As you can see. Like, that's front side. The shield doesn't yeah. stop anything. So, that's how you counter, and that's why I can't put them out an A faction. If if it was just a Dressing Kingdom defending against one faction, of course, the Dressing Kingdom's probably going to take that. Take that win. Um, but if it's, if the Dressing Kingdom finds themselves in like a 2v1 or a 3v1 situation where the opponents are just using their archers on them, the Dressing Kingdom's just going to get evaporated. There's, there's, there's no chance for them. Yeah, they need they they are a probably an S tier support faction, or a high B two v two faction. Yeah, I'll give that. I'll, I'll say they're a really good high tier. Uh, I'd give the high tier uh, support because whatever you cycle that into, that's getting kills. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next time on uh, the Federation. Um, hopefully, found some educational proof of this uh, video. Hopefully, it helps you out, makes you understand just in Kingdom a little bit more, um, teaches you how to play them, uh, and hopefully, we'll see some more just in Kingdom out there. We don't see it a lot.